Hello guys, welcome back to 1872 Blues. Um, this video is a little bit different. Um, I thought there's been a lot speculated and talked about Everton the past few days regarding the owner, um, his protest we are planning to do on Saturday um, against Southampton, um, and some of the transfers. Um, I really don't know where to put my stance on it, to be honest. I, I, I started on this year, which has obviously come out today. I mean, I've read that statement, and it's just the most generic way to just say, listen, just calm down. I've got it under control, and we'll sort this out. Like, I've not heard that before. I feel like I've heard that from Michelle a few times now and um and just Everton Football Club in general and like anyone who, who works there or anyone who speaks out players etc it's just it's just diabolical I can't believe he's gone defended not I wouldn't say defended but he's basically stating that we've got professionals here who, who, who are good at their jobs who do know what they're doing and you know we're loyal to them um i just think it's the biggest load of baloney i've ever heard of in my life uh these people have run the board have completely destroyed everything the past few years they, and you know the people they brought in and the players they brought in to try and fix and help the club the the, the decisions have been absolutely horrific and anyone who makes that many horrific decision decisions so i can't say that word for some reason um in a job any um you know doing st stuff like that all the time you, you won't have a job you shouldn't be still in the job you are failing you're failing at the job so i don't understand where this progression he thinks we could be making and we're striving to to get to you know a better place than where we are now is just a load of nonsense it's a load of nonsense it's, it's coming out about the stuff of the lava building um the, the improvements in finch farm or the plans for the stadium all this crap that we're not interested in that right now let's be honest we do not want to hear that we want to hear what are we doing with this team this season what are we doing in the next two three years in terms of this team where are we going because I don't see any progress. I don't see absolutely any progress whatsoever. We are, we have these academy players who are with, I don't want to put pressure on them. I always say I don't want to put pressure on them. But I feel like the, the amount of youngsters who play these days and have maturity and who are starting and playing a lot of games in the Premier League for the other sides, you know, why we can't do that so like why can't we have a player like that now you could say Anthony Gordon but I mean Anthony Gordon is I've already said my opinion on him I think he's so overrated that I think it's gone to his head everything's gone to his head I think change his number that early as well number 10 I think that was it might not seem much to people but I just think that's it's a proper statement that to say that you are our main guy and I think we've just put that pressure on him too quick. And I think he just thinks he's made it now, in a sense. And, you know, it didn't really help the Chelsea trying to get him for him. Because now it's all in his head again, thinking, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm too good, me, uh, blah, 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 blah. You know, to me, he has so... He, to me, I'm going to be honest, in any of Everton side, you would have been going out on loan to someone like Preston again or just you know a league down or maybe two leagues down because to me he's just not Premier League ready but we are that sad of a club we are that sad of a team we need players like that and um, it's just it's like little decisions like that changing Anthony Gordon's number it's just stupid and I don't know whose decision that was but um ridiculous and stuff like that is just 
another mistake Everton have made. And like you got these players like Tom Cannon who go on also loan, and I thought he looked okay when he come on. Off, you know, he didn't get enough touches on the ball because we don't supply anything to him. Um, and he's gone on loan now, and, I, and we've got rid of Rondon, and we've just brought Ellis Sims back. And Ellis Sims is more of a Dominic Carver Lewin like to like in a sense. He's tall, he's got, he's a poacher, it seems to be, from all his goals I've seen from Sunderland. Very similarly built in that as well. I just think Tom Cannon offered something a bit different. And you can't just say to me, well, you're not the football, you know, you're not the football expert, um, you don't see them every day in training. Well, whatever decisions we've made in the past, whatever um, choices and you know, anything we've done with this club has been a failure right now. So I don't really trust any one in charge at Everton, even the manager that's starting to become at this point the owner of the board just to make a right decision on something. So I don't know. I would have just carried on with Tom Cannon because he offered something different and now we're going for this you know, and you know, going back to Machine, like it's just it's just a ridiculous statement to pull out. It's another statement. You know, he's not been at Goodison for about 15 months, something like that. I just don't... I just think it's a little shite. I, I just don't think there's no accountability for anything. And it's frustrating because I don't know how... It's just showed they haven't listened to us. Um, you know, a, a, a statement like that, a letter to the fans, is, it was just fucking nothing it was it was nothing it did no, nothing to me i didn't feel any better from it or any hope from it um i just think it's quite insulting to do something like that because it just shows to me he's trying to show that he cares but to me he doesn't um uh, i just think i don't think it's going to help and i think i've had um some Everton fan um members that's like fan members like communities or whatever they're called at or you know obviously gone against what he what he said and um don't really agree with it and i'm not happy still and listen the protest is still gonna happen there needs to be change and it needs to be changed fast it really does i mean i've just watched southampton beat man city tonight 2-0 um City didn't have a sniff. I'm not saying that that doesn't mean that we're going to get absolutely battered by Southampton. Doesn't mean that at all. But it just shows they've got something about them. But Southampton season's not over. Yes, the twentieth. They're not. You know, the only couple of wins to get out of the relegation zone, and they're in the semi final of a cup. This, you know, when you're looking at it in that way, this, they're kind of having a better season than us. Um, and we've got them on Saturday. And I'll get into my match review with that, but. I'm not looking forward to it. And I'll be in Prague as well. I'm leaving to... Uh, I'm flying out tomorrow to Prague. I really don't feel like... I don't, I don't really want to watch it, to be honest, or even hear about it, because they've ruined enough things in my life, Everton. I don't really want them ruining a nice city break for myself. But, um, and yeah, the transfer links. I mean, I can't even say his name. Jack... I heard on Sky Sport, um, I heard on, sorry, I heard on TV, so I'm pronouncing it, and it sounds so easy to say, but completely forgot how to say it. Junan, no, 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 not going to try, I'm not going to try. Um, well, basically, they're going for a, a player who used to play for Bournemouth, Jan, Dan Juna, I think that's his name. Oh, I don't know, doesn't sound right, but he uh, plays a bit of a used to play for Bournemouth was in the Champions League team of the season, remarkably, um, after a bit of a semi-final um, credentials getting to, the, getting to that stages. You know, massive for them and he played really well to get there and he was kind of one of the uh, the sparkling talents in that squad for them to uh, to reach to that, to reach to that, to that uh, stage of competition. So, I haven't seen too much of him, to be honest. Um, I'm hoping he can provide something a bit different, but to me, I'll, just, I'll keep saying it till we buy someone. We need the number 10. I'm going to swerve off 
all these striker links and get excited about it because to me that striker you can even have Haaland up there at Everton he will not get any service and he won't be effective at all and Haaland tonight in your Southampton was not effective at all because the service tonight he had which was, was pretty poor remarkably um, so it just shows we don't have anyone creative in the middle to open up break the lines with a single pass or anything like that your striker's going to struggle no matter what they, they are they can't do it on their own um so yeah uh any other links i can't really put my name there michael Keane potentially was going to go to southampton we've rejected the loan deal holgate we are actually actually um actually asking for offers or not really asking for offers but willing to listen to offers for michael Keane and mason holgate thank god um never thought i'd see the day but it's just getting a bit worrying all these players leaving and no real big signs of us getting anyone in anytime soon. Um, you know, not the season you're going to need squad depth. Um, I wouldn't say I trust these players, I want these players to stay, but who are we going to bring in a replacement? And one, so they get more players injured. You know, you keep the likes of Gary Mina in the team, in the squad, who can't play more than five games a season. It's just. I don't know where we're gonna go in this transfer window. I don't know where it's going. It's just it's it's seeming to be just a complete mess again. Um, we are ten days in now, or eleven days, and there's no hope of anything going on for us in the sense of any immediate thing, any immediate uh, transfers coming in. Um, I feel like a few faces are gonna go, but it's just a big risk. Um, I think we've already got a small squad as it is. Um, and too many injury prone players in it as well so yeah I, I'll do my match review tomorrow um, I was going to do it tonight to be, to be honest and upload it tomorrow but I have to say because I don't know what the connection is like in Prague so I do apologise if I have any issues um, relating to any of the, the videos I want to be doing um, to a match preview and match reaction so yeah, I'll keep uh, all of you in tune. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, um, it's Stuart. I oh know it's uh, eighteen seventy blue. Sorry, um, I think with an underscore. I can't remember. But yeah, if you follow me there, if you follow me on there, I'll give you the updates on what's going on with the videos. Because like I said, the connection and me data out there is not going to be great. Anyway, I'll see you all soon. Thank you for tuning in.